and the, and the screw top bags, okay? No ice in Ziploc bags. It'll be confiscated. No loose ice at all. I'm allowing, except for the, um, the belted flight, normally allow three quartermen in the technical zone. I will allow four in the back, but only three in the technical zone, okay? How I want the second... How I want the seconds is you're, I'm only allowing one second in the cage, okay? You can have one second in the cage and two seconds on the steps, okay? No if, fans or buts about it. Does anybody have any questions right now? Anything at all? Okay, it's, it's obviously hot. It's going to be hot tomorrow. I would appreciate it if you guys get new uh, fabric tape to wrap the hands. If it's old tape and it gets wet, it'll have a tendency to unravel. That means we have to stop the vibe and have them retape. So make sure that you guys have new uh, 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 fabric tape for tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Fighting out of San Benito, Texas, Josh Montalvo. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for our main event fighter, Josh Montalvo, fighting at 145. Our co main event, ladies and gentlemen, 205. Give it up for these two gentlemen.
Once again, fighters, make sure to see the paramedics before you leave. If you do not see the par paramedics today, you will not be entering the ring on Saturday. Out of Austin, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Trevon Hobbs, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Waiting at 153, 153, Javon Hobbs out of Austin, Texas. Fighting out of Westlaco, Texas, Raymond Banda. One fifty-three point five is his weight. Raymond Banda out of Westlaco, Texas. And now our fighters will face off. Media, go ahead and get your pictures. One forty-three point five. Michael Rodriguez out of Westlake, Texas. His opponent, Ruben Aguirre. Ruben Aguirre out of Edinburgh, Texas. Also at 143.5 out of Edinburgh, Texas, Ruben Aguirre and Michael Rodriguez wait, fighting at a 145 bout. Michael coming out of Westlake, Texas. And now the uh, face off. Face the crowd, guys. Face the crowd. Fighters, don't forget to visit the paramedics behind the banner right here. Don't forget, don't, you don't visit the paramedics, you will not be getting in the ring. Coming in at 153 out of Victoria, Texas, James Trumbull. His opponent, Zachary Farrington out of Harlingen, Texas. Waiting at 151.5, Zachary Farrington out of Harlingen, Texas. These are our fighters, James Trimble and Zachary Farrington, fighting at 155. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our last win. It's an amateur fight. And our fighter, David Molina, fight, fight, coming in at 151.5. Is that correct? 151.5 out of Edinburgh, Texas, David Molina. His opponent, Juan Gonzalez. 
Once again, we remind you, ladies and gentlemen, this is their debut fight. It's an amateur fight going on tomorrow night at the Edinburgh Raceway. And his opponent out of far Texas, Juan Gonzalez. Weighing at 160.5, Juan Gonzalez out of far Texas. Uh, what do you know about both fighters and uh, I guess like a prediction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, as far as the fight goes, I mean, uh, both fighters are real, real uh, high impact fighters. Uh, they they come out and they, they they leave it both on the cage. I know I know Josh Montalvo personally. I've known him for for years. Uh, he used to train with him back in the day. Uh, actually, I'll actually be cornering him in this event. In, in this event. Um, he's he's trained out of Vegas, but uh, like I said, he, he's come a long way from where, when we first started and, and whatnot. And uh, he's really really hungry, really really you know wanting this uh, this title shot. So um, you know my hats off to him. You know I wish him all the luck. Like I said, I will have his back that day. You know because uh, you know he's been with me for a long time. As far as uh, Fabian goes, I have nothing bad to say about Fabian. Fabian's a great guy, uh, real down to earth. Always been real respectful with me. Um, so I have nothing, like I said, nothing bad to say about the guy. He also, also fights with a lot of heart. Um, he's real, also, like I said, real high impact fighter. So I expect, I expect a full out war in this fight. I think it's gonna be something that's gonna impact the fans. It's gonna ele 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 electrify the fans while you're there. And it's gonna, it's gonna give the fans what they want and what they paid for. Cool, and uh, one final question. Can you speak about uh, Valley MMA as a whole since you've been in the scene for a while and how it's grown the past few years? Valley MMA has actually grown a lot. Uh, I'm actually real proud of the ways it's grown in, 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 all, in all sorts of ways, you know, whether it be uh, different organizations popping up or, or just this organization just, you know, dominating you know, the rest. It, 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 it really shows that, that, the, that the, the growth in the Valley, you know, is really there. I mean, we got a lot of fighters, you know, right now, you know, that are going to be given opportunities to fight in bigger organizations. We got myself, you know, we got Diego, you know, also fighting in the UFC, you know, you know, the, the, the opportunity for people to get there is there, and it's gonna get the, the, the chances are gonna expand a lot lot more from now on. Thank you for your time, man. No problem, man.